Well, I mean, uh, I think VSP is absolutely right that uh, you know the, the important thing right now is to uh, keep uh, markets uh, stable, uh, keep markets calm uh, by uh, you know, uh, pledging to uh, support uh, the market uh, with liquidity if necessary. I mean, this is what the other G10, G7 leaders have also agreed on over the weekend. And if you look at some of the comments from the regional central banks as well, uh, it appears to be you know all in line with uh, supplying the market with liquidity if necessary, with dollar liquidity if necessary. Well, Joey, in light of all the statements we've gotten over the weekend from the various central banks, what are the chances we may see a coordinated effort among central banks for a stimulus plan? I'm obviously talking about the Fed in particular, as well as the Bank of Japan here. Mm, yes, I think you know even before uh, Brexit, actually there was already a lot of uh, you know, discussions amongst the G7, uh, you know, in, in Japan last month that uh, there might be a need for you know, more coordinated fiscal stimulus uh, coming out from the advanced economies. I think uh, this remains a very pressing concern, especially if uh, you know Brexit leads to uh, some of the more uh, economic downside risk materializing in the UK and the EU, uh, and with monetary policy you know largely uh, running out of ammunition in a lot of places, it, it does seem like fiscal policy he needs to pick up the slack here. You don't sound terribly optimistic this might materialize in the coming weeks, though. Usually it takes a while for you know, uh, countries to uh, get together to even think about their own domestic fiscal policies, much less than you know, trying to attempt uh, to coordinate on a more regional or global level. Uh, but still, uh, when it comes to fiscal policy, actually there isn't really you know, that much uh, need to uh, coordinate per se. It's just that uh, everybody needs to agree that uh, you know, the global economy is uh, on a fragile state, in a fragile state, and uh, more, uh, countries that have room to do so uh, can do more and, and should do more. Joey, let's talk specifics. The peso dropping eight tenths of a percent on Friday. Uh, that is the steepest in at least eight months, although not as bad as the other regional currencies. Early trading onshore today is showing it could stay weak for the rest of the day. Have your forecasts for the peso as far as the midterm support and resistance levels changed? I mean, I think it's too early to think about, you know, forecast changes to some of the EM currencies. I mean, obviously, HSBC has already changed our forecast for sterling, but uh, that's because, you know, it's at the epicenter and it's quite, uh, you know, it's quite indisputable that, uh, you know, the UK will go through a period of economic and political uncertainty, therefore affecting the currency, and the currency needs to be the mechanism to uh, allow the economy to adjust. But uh, as for the rest of, uh, you know, the world, uh, uh, even uh, uh, for the rest of EM, uh, especially and for Asia, you know, it really depends on how the in next few weeks the negotiations play out or the uncertainty plays out, whether we do get uh, you know, the downside risk materializing in economics uh, in economic uh, channels or not before we can think about the forecast changes. So what are your new forecasts for the sterling as well as uh, which uh, local units are you steering clear of for the next several weeks? Mm, yes, so for sterling, I mean, uh, HSBC now expects, uh, you know, the uh, cable, the, that is uh, uh, sterling versus the dollar, to fall to 125 by the end of Q3 and to 120 by year end. Uh, and then, you know, I think importantly also is uh, we have also marked down our forecast for euro dollar. Uh, we now expect the euro dollar to end at 110 uh, year end. Uh, previously, we were, you know, closer to 120. I mean, I think uh, the euro does need to be uh, stronger against the sterling because, uh, you know, I mean, even though the euro will definitely be affected by this event, but the Still, the idea is that the sterling needs to adjust, and one of the uh, a currency that it needs to adjust again is also against the euro, since a lot of the current account deficit, the balance of payment deficit, is against the eurozone. All right, that was Joey Chu, Forex analyst at HSBC, live in Hong Kong. We appreciate your insights.